Did I ever mention I love the R14 tires? My goodness, those things are awesome. Especially when you have it in four wheel drive, man. Well, hey there, hubby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, well, today's video I've been waiting just a little bit to make because I'm a little bit sad. We had a bit of a disaster strike the homestead and I'm kind of picking up the pieces today. you have been following the channel for a while you know that every spring or whenever I get a dry enough spell I'm over here reworking the duck pond to make it as nice for the ducks as I can and I kind of clean out the the mud and and make the water deep enough again for them to swim around and enjoy it and I enjoy my ducks I've had them for a couple of years and and it's it's been a really good time but as you'll notice there's no fence around me now and I'm I'm standing in the duck pond now I will say it's been a very, very, very dry summer. And the whole summer I was worried the ducks were gonna run out of water and it was gonna cause me problems and I was gonna have to try to figure out how to get them water and all that. But the pond kept water in it all the way up until now. Unfortunately, we had somebody come by and drop off two stray dogs across the road at the log yard. And those two stray dogs killed every single one of my ducks. They killed Jenny the turkey that I've had for three years and about five or six other chickens. And I mean, they didn't do it because they were hungry because one of the other neighbors was feeding them, trying to take care of them. And, uh, but they just had a taste for it, I guess, and, and went after it. And I came home and pretty much everything was gone. Um, so, that, that was a sad day, and that's been a, a while ago, a little over a month. And I thought about making a video about it, but I just kind of, I don't know, I wanted to give it some time and, and you know, think about it. And, and so kind of the only thing I'm gonna say about that is, man, if you're dealing with dogs that you don't want, think about what you're doing before you just go dump them off on somebody else, because that cost us a lot. It's not cool. Now, all that being said, I loved having my ducks and I want my duck pond and my ducks back up and running. But I had mentioned we had that Premier One electric fence netting that I wasn't just thrilled with how well it worked to protect the ducks and uh, keep the ducks in. And obviously it didn't work too well. So I've been thinking about maybe doing some type of permanent fencing around this pond area. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I get the pond the way that I want it. Now, we'll always have silt washing off the hill filling in the pond and so I'll always have to be able to get the tractor in here to kind of clean it out but um, now's a good time while there's no animals I just took the premier one fencing down folded it up and put it away and I'm gonna take the tractor and I'm gonna clean up this duck pond and we'll kind of make some decisions on how we want to move forward after this so be sure and drop your suggestions down in the comments for how I should go about fencing this and taking care of all that yeah let's get to work I almost forgot. See, I know y'all remember me cleaning out the duck pond this spring because who could forget the fact that uh, I got my tractor hung up in two wheel drive and wasn't smart enough to put it in four wheel drive. I had to go get my son out of bed and pull me out with the truck. We'll put her in four wheel drive today.
we have successfully expanded the duck pond. I made it probably two and a half feet deep where before it was probably just a little over a foot. Um, I kind of raised the dam up, moved the overflow just a little bit higher, and then kind of fixed all the other low spots around the edges. Drug some of the muck back um, without getting hung up. Did I ever mention I love the R14 tires? My goodness, those things are awesome. Especially when you have it in four wheel drive, man. Oh. It's um, driving a Kubota, I should turn my hat around. I met these guys at the expo and they gave me a hat. Yeah. <laughs> but Kubota's not paying me, so uh, yeah, it is what it is. I guess I'll wear whatever hat I want, right? Um, so, yeah, man, I, I feel better about all of it. I mean, I really, really, really was disappointed to lose my ducks. But the fact of the matter is that's nature and that stuff happens. We all want to do the best we can to protect our animals, keep them safe and healthy and, and all of that. But it happened and it wasn't within my control. So um, at this point, I'm going to try to regroup and maybe think about some good solid fencing, permanent fencing maybe. Um, put me a five or six foot gate on so I can get the Kubota in here. And yeah, we'll, we'll get her back up and running. I'll get some ducks and hatch them out. That's always fun. Always nice to get the Kubota out and play on it though. Move some dirt and all that. Had a real good time. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to enjoy God's creation all around us. It's beautiful out here. Y'all have a good day.